Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Today we will learn about floods. What is a flood? A flood is a natural occurrence in which land that is usually dry becomes oversaturated with water. This simply means that dry land gets covered with water. What causes a flood? Flooding is commonly caused by one of the following conditions. Heavy rainfall. When it rains for long periods of time and the land is unable to drain the water before new rain falls, it could lead to flooding. Water usually travels from higher ground to lower ground, therefore buildings, people and animals or vegetation in low-lying areas are more prone to flooding after heavy rainfall. Overflowing rivers. When there is more water in the rivers than usual, this can lead to flooding. If there is heavy rainfall occurring upstream, putting more water into the river, then the areas downstream could become too full and they will overflow their banks. A break in a dam. If for any reason there is too much water behind a dam, the force of the water can cause a break in the dam. This breakage will overflow the waterway, which can lead to flooding. Other natural occurrences. Other natural occurrences like hurricanes, cyclones, and tsunamis can also lead to flooding. These natural occurrences usually bring strong winds and heavy rains. This can lead to flooding along the coastline of affected areas. Melting snow and ice. Rising temperatures causes ice and snow to melt. This is part of the natural cycle of water on Earth. If the temperature rises too quickly and puts too much water into the waterways, again, this can lead to flooding in the low-lying areas. What are the main types of floods? A flood can occur over several days or very quickly over several hours. How the flood forms determine its name. A flood that develops over several hours is called a flash flood. They can happen anywhere but are most prevalent in low drainage areas. These floods are very dangerous because they occur with little to no warning and therefore there can be little to no preparation. A flood that develops over one to two days is called a rapid onset flood. These types of floods cause tremendous damage and individuals living in these zones usually have very little time to prepare and evacuate or leave the area. A flood that develops over several days or weeks is called a slow onset flood. These floods can be just as harmful as any, however, because they are slow moving, there is more time to prepare. Individuals living in these regions have more time to gather themselves and their belongings and move to higher ground. A flood that occurs as a result of a hurricane cyclone or storm is called a storm surge flood. When these storm systems come on land, they can bring heavy winds. The winds can bring water onto land quickly, which can lead to flooding. They are very dangerous and can affect people living miles away from the coastline. Safety guidelines. Too much water in an area too quickly can lead to a flood. Individuals living in flood-prone areas have to be aware of the weather patterns and conditions that may lead to flooding. If there is a possibility of flooding, there are some things one can do to stay safe. Keep an emergency kit. It is important to keep emergency supplies and documents in an easily accessible location so that they can be retrieved in the event of an emergency. Unplug and turn off all appliances in the home and or business. Move to higher ground and bring emergency supplies. 
stay away from power lines and cables. Above all else, follow the safety guidelines outlined by local officials at all times. Flood damage can be devastating and can have long-term effects. Local officials are always prepared and ready to help those affected by floods. Stay informed and be prepared if you live in flood-prone areas. Floods are natural occurrences that can happen anywhere. Though they are more prevalent in low-lying regions, it is important for everyone to know how to respond in the event of a flood. I hope you learned something about flooding today. Thank you for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.